What's up guys and welcome to the next episode of the Crack a Pack series. Today we are opening up a pack of Shadows over Innistrad. We've opened up this pack a lot so I won't go in too much detail as far as what's in it but we do have sitting at the top Tireless Tracker, Relentless Dead, as well as Soren Grim Nemesis. All sitting right around the $10 mark. Uh, decent value in this set. This was actually a really fun set, I thought. Uh, so I actually really enjoy opening it. Uh, we will of course go through this as if it's a pack one pick one scenario so we'll figure out Hopefully what our pack one pick one uh, would actually be if we were drafting this. So, oops, sorry there. Uh, I'll do the best I can with this. I'm not the best drafter, but we'll see what we get. So, our first card here, Sleep Paralysis, three and a blue enchant creature. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, tap the enchanted creature, and it doesn't untap during its controller's untap step. Classic blue removal. This is a great card. Uh, any blue deck would probably be very happy to have this. Uh, so I actually don't mind first picking removal. Uh, so I'll keep that to the side. So, uh, Stern Constable, one white for a 1-1. One, one. You can tap it and discard a card to tap target creature. Uh, tappers like this are notoriously great. Uh, this is a little bit of a different style tapper. Normally it's pay a white mana or something like that, tap the creature, and then you can tap a chosen creature. Uh, this discards a card, which can be a plus or a drawback. Uh, I think that's actually a really interesting card. I don't know how good that is, just because... Uh, while I did play a little bit during Shadows Over Innistrad, I didn't play enough to really get uh, the full effect of this card. Uh, I feel like you could abuse this, though, uh, but I don't know that it's first pickable. Uh, Nagging Thoughts, a sorcery for one and a blue. Look at the top two cards of your library, put one of them into your hand and the other into your graveyard. This also has a madness cost of one and a blue, uh, so if you discard this card, and uh, you can discard it into exile, and if you do pay the madness cost and put it into your graveyard, you actually get the effect. Uh, so this actually does work very well with our Stern Constable. Uh, I assume that this is like a decent draw spell. I don't think it's that great though, so I don't necessarily want to first pick that. Uh, True Faith Sensor, two, uh, two casting artifact, equipped creature gets plus one, plus one, and has vigilance. As long as the equipped creature is a human, it gets an additional plus one, plus zero, and the equip cost is two. Uh, this is just your basic equipment. It's fine. Uh, obviously, it's at its best in a human's deck, uh, but really, if you were just kind of short on playables, this is the kind of card you'd want to pick up because it sticks around. Uh, even if the creature's removed, you still keep the equipment most of the time. Uh, therefore, you can move this to another creature, do something useful with it. Uh, it's not bad, but it's really not that good either. <laughs> Uh, Alms of the Vein, two and a black for a sorcery. Target opponent loses three life and you gain three life. Uh, it also has a madness cost of one black. I don't really like cards like this. Uh, I don't like just straight up drain life cards unless they're game winning cards. Uh, this only deals three and gains three, which is fine, but really not all that exciting. Uh, reduced to Ashes, a sorcery for four and a red. Reduced to Ashes deals five damage to target creature. If that creature would die this turn, you exile it instead. I think this card is fantastic. It's great removal. Uh, it hits a lot of things in this set, and importantly, it exiles, uh, which is very relevant in a set where we have zombies uh, running around rampant. So I do like that card quite a lot. Uh, confront the Unknown, one green for an instant. Investigate. Uh, then target creature gets plus one plus one until end of turn for each clue you control. Uh, to investigate, you put a colorless clue artifact token onto the battlefield with pay to sacrifice this artifact and draw a card. Uh, this is sort of a two-in-one kind of a card, which is great. Uh, it's a combat trick, which is fine. Uh, hopefully you're going to at least get, you'll definitely get at least a one-one uh, pump out of this card. Hopefully you can get maybe two-two uh, as great as three-three would be fantastic. Uh, but importantly, you can investigate, which means you're going to be able to draw cards later on. Uh, this helps you draw, it helps you pump up your creatures, this is a great combat trick, uh, but it's not better than reduced to ashes, for sure. Uh, Deadweight, uh, one black for an enchant creature, the creature gets minus two, minus two. Uh, we see this in Guilds of Ravnica standard right now, this is a fantastic card, especially against early game. Uh, cr three creatures or threats, excuse me. Uh, I really like this card. Again, not more than reduced ashes. Uh, it's just not quite as powerful. It does go to the graveyard uh, if the creature dies, which is fine. Uh, but in a set like this, you really want to exile things as much as possible. Uh, Vessel of Volatility. Uh, one in a red for an enchantment. You can then pay one in a red and sacrifice it to add four red mana to your mana pool. I don't like this card. Uh, I don't think this is really four constructed personally. Uh, some of the vessels are 
decent, I think, uh, but this is not one of them. Our first uncommon, pour over the pages, three and two blue for a sorcery. Draw three cards, untap up to two lands, then discard a card. This is obviously really, really powerful. Uh, you're drawing three, which is huge. You get to untap a couple lands, which means you can either have a follow-up play or leave up or represent a counter, something along those lines. Uh, and then obviously you have to discard a card, which in a lot of cases, what you can do is draw three, uh, untap your lands, and then discard a card maybe with madness or something like that, and then actually get the effect off of that based on the fact that you have a couple untapped lands. So uh, I really like this card. I think it's super, super powerful in this set. Uh, I don't know if it's better than reduced ashes though. Uh, I think I'd rather have the removal to be honest. Uh, Humble the Brute, four and a white for an instant target creature with po with power four or greater. Destroy, excuse me, target creature with power four or greater, and then investigate. Uh, this is fine. Uh, again, it's it's basically just great removal. It gives you an investigate uh, clue token, which I think is great. Uh, but I highly prioritize the exile, especially in a set like this. Uh, and so for that reason, I'm still going to stick with reduced ashes. Uh, skeleton key, one casting cost artifact, uh, the equipped creature, you equip it for two, the equipped creature has skulk, uh, whenever it deals combat damage to a player you may draw a card and if you do discard a card, this is a much better equipment than the other that we saw. Uh, it definitely, it's interesting because obviously it makes things, uh, it gives the looter ability which is huge, huge and limited, uh, but it also gives it skulk which means it can't be blocked by creatures with greater power, making it actually pretty difficult to just block it. Uh, gives it some built-in evasion. While it's not great evasion, it's better than uh, nothing. So uh, I do like this card. Not more, I don't think, than Reduced Ashes, but still quite good. Uh, and then our rare here is Scorch Wolf. 2-2 uh, two, two for 2 red. It has First Strike. Uh, as long as Delirium is triggered, it has Double Strike, uh, which basically means if there are four more cards among card types in your graveyard, uh, Delirium is triggered, and this guy will get that uh, Double Strike uh, mechanic. We also do have a negle neglected heirloom. Uh, equip creature gets plus one, plus one, one casting artifact. Uh, when it transforms, equip creature transforms, uh, transform the heirloom into a ash mount blade. Uh, equip creature gets plus three, plus three, and has first strike. Equip cost of three. Don't like that card. Uh, so it's actually between these two for me. Uh, I like both of these quite a lot. I think Scorch Wolf is great uh, in limited just because it's a 2-2 two, two for 2 with first strike, so already it's pretty on point. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to cast, but it does have the upside of being able to trigger Delirium. I would honestly probably take the Wolf. Uh, it's a creature. I like it a lot. It deals with a lot of creatures uh, in this set pretty well thanks to that first strike. Uh, I might be wrong on that though, so please in the comment section let me know. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. And as always, please make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of our awesome content. But with that, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next Crack-A-Pack video.